state employees and public officials would have to complete ethics classes upon hire or election, and again every four years, that's tens of thousands more people than are required to do it now. The lawmakers facing federal charges on corruption were already required to do it. The Hawaii State Ethics Commission takes in thousands of complaints and inquiries every year. They can't say if they handled tips about Kalani English or Ty Cullen, the two lawmakers whose lawyers say will plead guilty on charges affiliated with bribery schemes. But they can tell us most state workers are trying to keep things above board. A majority of the complaints that we do get typically be, are coming from existing state employees for calling out something that they see or they think is incorrect. A bill up for hearing Friday would widely expand mandatory ethics training to include all state workers. Right now, folks like lawmakers are required to sit through live training every two years. The new plan would enlist online modules, currently optional, to reach everybody else as a mandate. The watchdog agency sees an upside for employees new and old. Sometimes you can get into the status quo, but this is just the way we've always done some things that upon reflection or objectively you look at and say that's not really the ethical way to behave. Refreshers, reminders, understanding the, the complexity of the law and how it applies to you is really critically important. The Ethics Commission processes dozens of advisory opinions, investigations, and judicial decisions annually. And if they find a legal line may have been crossed. We do work, uh, you know, very cooperatively with the state attorney general's office. And again, if there's a federal matter, obviously we work closely with the U.S. attorney's office as well. English and Cullen are accused of taking travel, food, casino chips, and cash for favors for a cesspool contractor. No one should take money from uh, people uh, uh, to advance a particular uh, uh, an agenda. We have a gift culture in Hawaii, uh, but uh, certainly that crossed the line here. And we should not, as an elected official, be asking for gifts uh, in order to do the public good. Hawaii's rules allow only tokens they call gifts of aloha. Some travel stipends are okay if they meet a state purpose. Plainly under the gifts law, you're not allowed to take envelopes of cash. With the administrative rules that passed about two years ago, um, lobbyists, um, people who are in like a tested case hearing, somebody who's a regulated entity is not allowed to give a gift, uh, essentially, except for a few small exceptions. Um, like gifts of lay or something that is, you know, sort of nominal, perishable. Ethics training is about more than just what you can get and give. There are also rules about fair treatment and conflicts of interest, among other potential pitfalls. It goes really down to the viability of government. If we don't believe that, we're, uh, you know, everyone will get a fair shake, then at some point people start questioning whether or not that government's for them. And that's the type of situation we really want to avoid. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.